All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna learn about three chords and how these three chords can let you play pretty much any modern or contemporary worship uh, song. Um, we're gonna be in the key of C today and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about number theory, but if you want more advanced details on that, I have a, a complete video of that on my channel. I would encourage you to go watch. But in the key of C, it's all the white notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, okay? And numbers is just simply assigning a number instead of a letter to that scale. So like C would be one, D would be two, E would be three, F would be four, G would be five, A would be six, and B would be seven, okay? So what we're gonna do is learn the one major chord, which is a C major. We're gonna learn the four major chord, which is F, and the five major chord, which is G. Now you may think this is simple, but there is a trick, okay? So stay along with the video, okay? So a major chord for beginners is just the one, three, five of that scale, okay? So for C, that one, three, five is C, E, G, all right? Now for playing purposes, I'm gonna do that inverted and do it G, C, E, okay? Inversion only means just to switch the order of the notes, okay? So G, C, E, that's a C, all right? A F major chord, of course, is F, A, C, all right? And then a G major chord is G, B, D, all right? Now, using just these three chords, you can play any worship song in the key of C, okay? And I'm going to show you how, because there's a little trick to it. So... The first chord being C major, which we know is C, E, and G. And I'm gonna play a C in the bass, all right? And we know the four chord is F major, again, F, A, C, F in the bass. And then the five chord is G, G in the bass, G, B, and D, all right? Now here's the trick. Any six chord, in that key, okay, is the same notes for that minor seven. Now, let me explain that because that sounds super confusing. So A is the six of, of C. So if we count up, one, two, three, four, five, six, you would get A. If you count down, seven, six, you got A, okay? Now, if I play a C over A, so G, C, E, and then A in the bass, that is an A minor 7 chord, okay? A minor 7. All right, and the reason why that makes sense is for an A minor, which is 1, 3 flat, 5, and then add the 7 is a 7 flat of that scale. So the 1, 2, 3, we're going to flat that, okay? 4, 5. So that's A minor, okay? And then we're gonna add the seven flat because it's a minor scale, which if you want more information on scales, you can go watch my video for that. But that all of a sudden brings you to G. So we're gonna take the A out of the chord, G, C, E, and then A in the bass. That makes it an A minor seven, okay? So that's just a C over A. Well, we can do this for the other chords uh, in our all right, so C over C is major, C major. Now check this out. For a D minor seven, a D is the six of F. So we can play an F major over D, and that gives us a D minor seven, okay? We can play a G major over E, because that's the six of G, and that gives us an E minor seven. Right? And then for our seven chord, we can play a five over seven combination, which is G major over B. So all of a sudden, with just three chords in the right hand, you have a chord representation of every note in the scale of key of C. So just to recap, C major over C is C. F major over D is D minor seven. Okay, G over E is an E minor 7, okay, and 
then you got a regular F major, regular G major, a C over A is an A minor 7, and then you can play a G over B. Okay? And that gets you to the whole back to C. So see that? C, F over D, G over E, F, G, C over A, and G over B. That takes you every note. Cool little trick. Three chords in your right hand, and you're playing every note representation in that chord. All right, we're going to go to B flat. So with B flat is B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A. Okay? So I could play, I'm going to play invert the B flat. So F, B flat, D. It's inverted there. So I could play B flat. Okay? And then I can play A for the C minor chord. I'm going to play an E flat. And I'm going to invert my E flat, okay? G, B flat, E flat. I'm inverting it over C to make a C minor 7. That's my 4 over 2, okay? Now I'm going to play an F over D again. Same as C, right? F over D gives me a D minor 7, which is my 5 over 3 in the key of B flat. And then we got regular E flat, F. Now for a G minor 7, guess what? B flat over G. And then F F over A to give me that 5 over 7. And now I played pretty much every chord representation of B flat. Now again, this is more simplified chords, you know. Um, the minor set anytime you see that minor, you can do a minor 7 and it still sound fine. But that gives you every chord. Now with my inversions, you'll notice I don't have to move my right hand at all. So that's why I like to do my in inversions, plus it sounds good. So, again, B flat, E flat over C, F over D, E flat, F, B flat over G, F over A, B flat. So if you can learn the three major chords in any key, that one, four, five. So again, the one is, if we're back in C, okay? The one is just the first note, that first major chord, C major. The four is the fourth note in the scale, F major, right? And play that chord, F major, and then G, G major. So in any key you go to, if you can just learn those three chords, you can play a representation pretty much of every chord in that scale and that'll help you play learn songs in multiple different keys and be able to play pretty much any song um let's do one more key we'll do f okay so f is f g a b flat c d e f okay again one more time f and then we're going to play our b flat over g which is you've seen that already gives you a G minor. We're going to play for an A minor 7, C over A, B flat, C major. Then we're going to play F over D for D minor 7 because it's a 6, right? Then we're going to just play G over E, or I'm sorry, we're, for the E, we're going to put a uh, C over E, 5 over 7. So, just with those three chords, you can pretty much play any modern contemporary worship song, and most of the songs. When you go look at the chords, you'll see, you'll see just a pattern of mainly one, four, five chord, and then the six minor seven chord. And every now and then, you'll see the two minor or three minor. Well, just with those three chords, you can play all of them. You just have to train your mind to say, when you see that minor chord, what can I play over that? Okay. I hope that helps somebody. Hope that. Makes it a little bit more simple when you're learning songs for, especially for you beginners, on how to just play a song with just three chords. Hope this helps you. Thank you.